hi guys welcome to another episode on my channel and today we will be discussing the steps you have to take in order for you to get the visa to come to Malta as a student and please note that most of my conversations today will be majorly focused on people who do not have an embassy for instance Nigeria who do not have a Malta embassy in their country so now um after you've secured the admission you've paid your tuition depends on the school which you apply you might be required to pay 50 percent or uh, 25 percent or 75 percent like i said depends on the school now when you have paid your first installment the school would give you all the necessary documents you need from them now what is required or necessary needed from you for the whole process are um, your bank statement you need a proof of fund of about fifteen thousand euros you might be self-sponsored or you might have a sponsor now we'll come back to that after you secure the admission the school would send a request to cvu the central visa unit identity yeah? that is identity malta and identity Malta will send you a link now this link you are expected to upload all the required documents which i would also list at the description box below some of which are your proof of fund that is your bank statement of fifteen thousand euros three months bank statement yes you need your health, travel health insurance covering over 30,000 euros. Uh, you can get that online. I will also um, put in the description box one of the insurance company you can buy online. You buy the travel insurance. And then you need to do a hotel reservation booking. You do not live in Malta, so you shouldn't have an accommodation, except your school offers an accommodation or they give you accommodation documents stating that yes, you have an accommodation. If you do not have any of this listed, then you need to do an hotel reservation for 15 days and then you do a flight booking as well so your flight booking should um when you arrive your your hotel accommodation should come from your arrival you understand so that is 15 days after you arrive so you know you do the flight reservation you do the hotel booking you fill out the forms now if you have self self-sponsored you need to show your source of income now, if you are employed, you need to include your employment details just to boost your application, your pay slip, you know, a reference letter from your employer stating that, oh, this person is a staff of this company and this person is traveling for these studies and yeah, he works here with us. But if you have a sponsor for younger people or older people, if you're sponsored by someone, if the person is a business owner or a business an entrepreneur, um, you need to include the person's business re registration documents, the CSC, I don't know, for other countries, your business registration document, the full copy. You include that, then the person has to sign an affidavit with the courts stating the relationship. Um, I am the sister, I'm the uncle, I'm the auntie, I'm the business partner of this person, and I will be sponsoring his studies to this institution for the period of, you know, 52 weeks. Um, I have a bank statement of 17,000 euros. Uh, of 17 million and which is equivalent to 17,000 euros I would foot his old bills and all of that then it's signed and stamped at the court so you attach all of that the bank statement the travel insurance copy the a flight reservation the hotel reservation the um application form because you get the gdpr and the application form which you have to fill 
please for people that keep sending me message about dependent please i have said it on so many other videos you cannot come along with your dependent you can only apply for a family reunion after a year do you get me so you have to be patient and do your application and you know when you get in here you settle in yeah you can apply for them to come join you uh yes so basically those are the steps you need to take the required documents you need to upload and now after you've uploaded them via the link the embassy will, in malta here identity will review your documents and if it's okay if some documents are missing they will send you a mail back and tell you uh, the required document you need to forward to them and uh, yeah when you do that they will now tell you it's been approved now you can pay your visa fee the visa fee is 270 euros the official visa fee now you pay with your card and yeah when you pay the visa fee with your card they would now request you give them some time it depends some people it took two weeks some people it took three some about a month some one so it depends on the time your application comes in you get so they would now request for your original document now whatever document you submitted online whatever document you uploaded online please note that um you would also need to upload a bank card that is your atm card the atm card yes you need to upload it and you need to upload the atm card that is attached to that account the bank statement you're submitting you should upload the atm card of it so um because there's a space where you upload where they request for the bank card so now the bank statement the sponsorship letter the um proof of employment or proof of business ownership you are to put them together in one pdf and upload on the section of bank statements you understand because it doesn't have like so many sections so you do not miss a document so anything that has to do with finances that is the bank statement um the sponsorship letter the proof of um, ownership or employment and you have to arrange them in one pdf and upload in the section of the proof of fund do you understand i hope that is clear so um i would also um every um link for upload is unique to each applicant applicant rather it's unique to each applicant so it's not possible for you to upload on someone's behalf it's like uh, upload in someone's place no it's unique to each applicant that's why they send it directly to your email and now um when they request your document every document you uploaded online you need to arrange a copy of it and put in an envelope and to including your passport and everything you include all of that in an envelope and it would be requested you send it to malta send it to the embassy and the transportation for all of that the tour and the fro it's included on the in the 270 euros which you're asked to pay and now when they receive your document they would schedule you for an interview now the essence of this interview is to know you and your purpose of coming so do not be nervous the questions are not difficult if you are a student and you can explain your source of income or the source of, of your sponsor's income and you can prove that beyond reasonable doubt yes you can afford to study here and you know you have a direction and a part and you understand what you're coming here for most definitely all things willing <laughs> yes you would be issued the visa uh yes so when you're done with the interview usually it's a video call interview that is for people who do not have an embassy in their country so um 
you will be called you will be scheduled for an interview you got the email and then they will give you a date and a time you join in on the interview they ask you the quest necessary questions they need to know please note that the questions they would ask you are based on what you submitted nothing is coming from nowhere it's based on what you submitted what they expect you to know like the duration of your course uh and why you choose to study? Where where are you coming to Malta? Why not the UK? Do you understand? So it's not an interview like an exam. Yes, it's based on you have to be confident because they would see you. You won't see the interviewer. So you have to be confident and sure. You know, be relaxed, do not be in a quiet space like I am. And yeah, that's it. And after the interview, they sent back your document and yes you should have your visa and if you do not have it you would get a sleep explaining why you weren't issued but if you follow these guidelines like i just explained i believe beyond reasonable doubt you would be issued the visa now for people who have an embassy in their country the school is going to give you all your necessary document that you need and when they give it to you you fill them out and organize all these documents which i had rightly explained or listed to the embassy you go to the embassy you pay the visa fee and you submit the same documents that i just listed submit them and yeah you still do interview as well but to be one-on-one -on -one. and yeah that's it it's still pretty much the same process. I hope this video is, is quite clear and has been able to help you, will be able to help you. And if you have more ideas of what you want me to talk about next in my next video, please leave uh, a message in the comment section and I will know how far my information is getting and yes, how next I can help so so far so good i believe um yes i will put in the caption below the um, link to the identity so you can go up there and read the details of the required documents that you might need for your application please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and yeah see you all in my next video ciao